I am having the best time. I'm in Cape Cod. I'm at the Kennedy Museum in Hyannis, Mass. Uh, I'm living history. I'm living family. It's just wonderful. I want to thank our friends at Merrill Lynch, Cape Cod. And yes, this is Jeffrey Davis. I am the host of the show. And uh, what a punishment being forced to sit in Hyannis for a week. Uh, our next guest, another entrepreneur. I, uh, I'm glad I got to, to turn on the mics. We haven't spent so much time embarrassing myself with the mics off. Gail O'Rourke of White Wood Kitchen. Good morning. Good morning, good afternoon, whatever it is. I never know what time it is of day. Um, Gail, tell us about White Wood Kitchen. White Wood Kitchens is a cabinet and countertop dealer. I have a showroom here in Sandwich, Mass, and we sell kitchens, bathrooms, cabinetry, built-ins, mantles, any kind of interior, finished cabinet, custom stock that you'd need for any interior project. How did you get into that business? I mean, I think some businesses are stereotypic, and so I, I you know. Well, in a, in a kind of roundabout way, it's kind of an interesting story. Um, when I bought my um, fourth house, which was in Plymouth about 14, 15 years ago, uh, I, I was a young, I had a young family, young children, and I had no furniture. And we, you know, bought, started renovating. We knew this was our longtime home. And we decided to do as much as we could on a budget. And once we did the floors and some updating, we, of course, didn't have any money for furniture. And I decided I wanted to make something. So I decided to make some furniture. And what I found out was, that it's really hard to make furniture, but I absolutely loved it. I used to make furniture in university. Okay, so you know. I worked the veneering machine. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah, until That's my nice. finger got into it. Oh, nice. <laughs> I've got one short one, too. <laughs> um, so then I got a job working for a local cabinet shop oh shortly wow. after that. An artisan. Yes, so I worked with a master cabinet maker for a year and a half mm -hmm. and learned how to make boxes and doors and mill lumber and make furniture and kitchens. Plain, and sand dust, yeah. paint, varnish. Everything, spray booth, yeah. tools I never even I hated heard working of. in a spray booth. Yeah, I did that a lot. I know, Th that'll kill you. <laughs> yeah. That'll kill you. And, um, Especially in the fortunate. generation I did it. Yeah, well, yeah. I was in a little bit of an arcade booth too at the time. And so I was fortunate, really fortunate enough really to have a paid almost apprenticeship Wow. And I went from there. They closed that cabinet shop after about a year and a half, and I opened my own company called Hometown Woodworking. That was my first venture as an entrepreneur. And uh, I ran that for seven years, doing all custom built-ins, home offices, wine cellars. I put a big addition on my house, big 20 by 24 workshop. Wow. And so You're a homemaker's dream. It was great because I did have kids at home um, in, in elementary school, so they'd get yeah. on the bus, I'd go down the shop, they'd get off the bus, I'd come up, but it gave me that flexibility to be where I needed to be. Right. Working from home is very a great opportunity when, you're, when you have small children.